And it says, we are live. And of course, it must be Thursday night if we're live. And it's time, of course, for Got Back Goes Live. I naturally am your humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Got Back as always, man. It's great to see you. Please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe. And while you're at it, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? Hit that notification bell because it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Transformers Collectors NL, the Autobot Family, Machinery of Man, um, the Everything Factor, and have a look for me everywhere across social media. And I'm excited. Like, this might be the one live show that I am the most excited for that I have ever done. Now, we're on, we're on here a little bit earlier tonight than I actually expected. And hopefully that means we can get through stuff a little bit earlier. We're going to uh, wait for a few folks to get in here to, to kind of pile in. I'll let you know sort of the, the rundown here. We have some news and notes coming up tonight. Uh, a lot of it actually has to do with Cyberverse, which sort of like that sort of surprises me like cyberverse but there's a lot of interesting stuff coming out of that we're going to talk about the rising relevance of the company jazzwares um you may know them from their Fortnite line and kind of why they're growing in importance and why they might be becoming important competition especially as we go into toy fair we're going to kind of uh preview a little bit of toy fair we're going to talk about some recent reveals and some recent images um and a couple of them are pretty surprising. We're going to do an update to my top 10 worst. And I'm going to explain why two characters in particular that a lot of people have asked me about were left off, even though I really should have put them in the honorable mentions, at least. Um, and we're going to kind of clue things up, sort of like we did last week, with a great big unbox. Well, not an unboxing. It's a great big unbagging. Uh, I got a great... I got a great big Toys R Us bag here, um, and uh, it has it has a lot, it has a bunch of stuff in it, bunch of stuff in it. Uh, still some things coming along the way. So let's see here. Uh, we have people coming in. I see that you guys are over there. I want to check in on the chat. I got to get things sorted away. I'm going to do the trivia, of course, provided to us by good friend of the channel. Dragonfly and the trivia tonight. Yeah, the trivia tonight is. See now, I, I need to read it because I a lot of times I have this written down. I didn't get a chance to write it down. The trivia tonight is which Transformers sticker adventure book was used in the movie Spaceballs as the Spaceballs the coloring book. Didn't even know that there was one used in the movie Spaceball. So this is going to be interesting. Was it A, the Battle of Junk Planet book? Was it B, the Revenge of the Decepticons book? Was it C, the Return uh, to Cybertron book? Or was it D, Galvatron Attacks? I'm going to let you guys think about it. Once again, A... The Battle of Junk Planet book? B. Was it B, Revenge of the Decepticons book? Was it C, Return to Cybertron book? Or was it D, Galvatron Attacks? Starscream Wife just guessed C. We'll see if she's right in a few moments. In the meantime, I'm just going to kind of get us sorted away here a little bit. You guys, you guys know by now that this is sort of how this goes. And I got to set things up because I'm an old man and can't do it beforehand, apparently. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, I'm excited tonight. I mean, we have we have Toy Fair right around the corner. There's a like a bunch of stuff that I got picked up there uh, for like a, an unboxing and stuff. I had, but me being me, can you believe it? I actually have nothing to complain about tonight. Nothing. It's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Boots Guardian, uh, welcome to you, my friend. Max Moltena, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, Boss Gunny, I'm glad that you're here. You and I recently had a pretty good conversation when it came to talking about um, my, my worst list. 
Uh, Blizzard, happy you're here as well. Starscream wife, of course, is here. Look at her speaking all French and being fancy. Uh, Dragonfly in here. I, sorry, Dragonfly. I know you and I were just talking a moment ago, buddy. We're going to cover all of those Earthrise reveals, I suppose. Not really reveals, because I, I told you guys a long time ago about some of those. So it's not really reveals. It's new images, we'll say. Um, I Obviously, I did have the... Uh, Trivia. So I'm sorry about the confusion there. Um, Razor, Razor Bear, happy you're here. Um, <laughs> fellow, fellow Unicron backer. That's hilarious. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. Oh, and I didn't even need it because I'm in a good mood right now. But that was funny. Uh, MWG, always happy you're here. Marco, uh, Earthrise Wheeljack is the best. That is all. <laughs> I don't have him yet. He's not in my bag. But I'm going to say this, Wheeljack. Anybody who knows me knows the Wheeljack's my favorite character. I cannot wait for him. That's all I'm going to say about that right now. Uh, going down here. Uh, hey, Miles. Uh, I, I feel like it's probably the first time I've seen you in here, buddy. But I'm glad that you came in. Uh, Blizzard is excited. I'm glad Blizzard's excited. I'm excited too, man. I'm ex it's Thursday night. We're heading into the weekend. All kinds of new things kind of up and coming to, there to excite us. I'm, I'm, I'm excited too. Uh, let's see. Earthrise finally has started showing up in Virginia. Happy to hear it. Uh, did you see the new Earthrise reveals? I did, Nick. We're going to talk about them. And I wouldn't call them reveals. I told you guys. If you watch, look, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your countrymen. You got to watch every Thursday night because I, like, I broke a lot of this news months ago. Months ago, but I'm excited to, to talk about some of the images we got today. And one of them in particular really sort of blew me away. Probably not the one you're thinking of, though. Uh, I don't want to grow up. I'll never do it, buddy. I'll never do it. Uh, let's see. C is my guess. B, Nick guesses B. Bascani guesses C. Starscream Wife guesses C. MWG guesses D. I got to... We'll adjust a little bit here. Um, and if I miss anything, guys, you know that I apologize for it. Yeah, I wish I could go there too, Blizzard, uh, to Toy Fair. But it's like I said last week, unfortunately for where I live, I don't I don't see me ever going to a BotCon or a TFCon or Toy Fair or an SDCC or an NYC. Like they're dreams I have, I'd like to, but I just I don't I don't, I don't believe it's gonna happen. Um they also use a Transformer lunchbox. They just... No, no, no. Don't go throwing Transformers lunchboxes in here, Dragonfly. You should save that for another trivia because let's deal with one confusing little oddity at a time, man. But um, Spaceballs logo sticker on this stuff. Interesting. Um, you probably remember me from comments because I comment a lot. Maybe, Nick. I, I usually get to know people that come in here fairly regularly. Uh, people that comment. Like, I believe it or not, a lot of you guys probably think like, ah, he doesn't remember me. A lot of you, I do. That's why I tend to notice when new people come in or even when they comment on some of the reviews or stop motions or something, because I kind of know the community. I know the regulars, you know? Um, do you think they'll do Earthrise Dinobots? No, they just don't empower the primes. I don't think they're going to do Earthrise Dinobots. Um, they like, they done them within the last year and a half. I don't see it happening now. Could they? Yes. But I wouldn't hold my breath for it. You know, I think that they would say, we just empower the primes, Dinobots. Pfft, we're done. It's like combiners. I don't see them doing combiners. I don't see them doing a Galvatron. I, I I don't see it, even though a lot of people said, yeah, but he's on the package. It's that little gloopy thing that comes with that ugly Unicron. That's what that's homaging. I will be shocked if we get another Galvatron. Do I think that he, we could use it? Sure. But it really wasn't long ago that we got the Titans Return one. Um, I just, I feel like, you know what, as I'm saying that, we, you know, we get a million optimists. So who knows? Who knows? But I'm not, I'm not expecting it. It could happen, but I'm not expecting it. Let's put it that way. Hey, Sam, happy to see you. Um, speaking of new news, I have a job. Good for you, Blizzard. Happy to hear it. I'm glad to see you're so excited. Uh, uh, I'm excited, too, about most of the real reveals. Me, too, buddy. Me, too. There's a lot to kind of run through there. Um, let's see. My grandfather got me in G1, got, oh, G1 Wheeljack. 
My G1 Wheeljack, I don't know how many of you have seen the review of it, but my G1 Wheeljack, I found outside of my grandmother's house on the side of a dirt road covered in dirt. I found him and I took him home and I cleaned him and he was my Wheeljack for a long, long time. He wasn't complete, but I found him. And I never did see Wheeljack in store, so I, I consider... I found him on the side of the road. Found him on the side of the road. Back to Marco's story, though. Uh, flea market thinking it was an Italian rally car. Uh, that's another character that uh, means a lot to me. Yeah, and you know what? That's another reason to love Wheeljack. I, you can never have too many reasons to love. He made Dinobots, too. I like, could never have. And he kind of defied death. Like, you know, he died in the movie, but then he was... In one of the Japanese series, I don't remember which one now, Master Force, maybe. I like to think that he, you know, had the body beat up, but his spark chamber intact, so he was able to come back. That's what I like to believe. Um, Brandon, happy to see you here. Uh, you didn't miss too much yet. I just kind of done the trivia and gone through some of the uh, rundown for tonight, so to speak. Um, I'm, I was waiting to kind of let you regular, regular. You got that right, Marco. I was waiting to kind of let uh, people kind of get in here before we sort of dig into things. Um, let's see. That's sad. Why would it be sad, though, Blizzard? Like, man, you want good Dinobots, you get the Black Mamba set. Boom. You got excellent Dinobots. Uh, Universe Galvatron 2.0, hot trash. Um, hey, Cybermedic Geek. Uh I, I I don't. Why do you think Galvatron is going to happen in part three? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe you're right, MWG, and I'll eat my words. But I'm really not holding out for Galvatron. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I guess. Uh, Ty in here, ladies and gentlemen. Ty has recently kind of joined us as part of the cast of uh, Universal Collision. I do not want to say who he's voicing yet but i can tell you that the character is someone we have not seen yet we will see in the next episode and has a fairly significant role going forward for the rest of the season believe it or not there's so much that you guys haven't seen yet and episode seven is coming along actually quite nicely um let's see found three transformers and a flea market good for you blizzard um we don't really get like good flea markets like that around here uh, do you think they will do a retool of Fast Track to make a roller for Prime? They could. Um, I think it's more likely that we're going to get that retool as the Selects Retorchi. I can't, I, I I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's the version of Fast Track that came with Black Zarek. Uh, could we get it used for roller? Maybe, but here's the thing. I don't know if it would fit inside of the Earthrise Primes trailer. We'll talk about that in a bit, too. Uh, that was very lucky. Like, to find Wheeljack? Like, come on, man. Um, let's see. You guys are excited tonight. Look at that. Um, Action Master Wheeljack was my version of the character. Action Master Bumblebee and Jazz were my versions of those characters. Um, also... Starscream, um, Shockwave, uh, Soundwave, uh, Banzai Tron. Who else did I have? Uh, Rad. <laughs> Rad. And um, I had someone else, but I don't remember who. Uh, a little bit weird, but I liked them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Downshift and eventually the previous generations wheel jack yeah and that's the wheel jack i currently have is the previous generations one i did not bother with the combiner wars because i did not like the breakdown mold like very much at all um victory there you go he was in victory thanks i knew that he was there uh in one of them i couldn't remember which one thank you sam i appreciate it buddy uh 100 complete wheel jack wheel jack traded a bunch of micromasters for him not a bad trade actually dragonfly Farbite, happy you're in here. I uh, just finished editing my review of Siege Springer. Oh, he's he's a nice one. Siege Springer is a nice one. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot to explore with Springer. I'm with you, Firebite. There's a lot to explore there. Uh, two Cybertron, Thundercracker, and Universe. Uh, two Prowl. Uh, considering Wind Charger, um, miraculously survived the movie and appeared in the background season three. I don't see why Wheeljack couldn't. There you go. See Sam. Sam's with me. Jason, happy you're here. I think it's the first time I've seen you in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, Earthrise Wheeljack is the best Wheeljack since MP Wheeljack. Now, I, I didn't like the MP Wheeljack. Um, now, granted, I just looked at the KO of it, and I found that the body really didn't tab together well. Now, a lot of people have told me that the actual one did. I would venture to say, from what I've seen so far, that I think the Earthrise might actually be better than the MP was. And we're going to talk about that in a bit, too. A bunch of stuff that I'm, I'm kind of laying some groundwork for here. Uh, let's see. The Galvatron is actually seen in the Earthrise. Yes, the Galvatron is seen in the Earthrise boxes. I know that, Firebite. It's the little gloopy Galvatron that's coming with Unicron. I'm after saying that a hundred times. They've already confirmed that, yes, we are getting a Galvatron. A little gloopy thing uh, that comes with Unicron. Guess what? Unicron is on the box, too. I think all of this... That people are hoping for a new Galvatron. I think you're going to be disappointed. Just saying. I hope you're right. I hope we do get a good one. I hope we do get a new one. But don't be surprised if it doesn't happen. Because I'm pretty sure it's just a reference to that little gloopy, ugly mess that really shouldn't exist. Just saying. Closest thing I'd want to Galvatron in the world uh, would be a Galaxy Upgrade Megatron with the armor of Unicron. Interesting. A la Transformers Prime. Um... Kind of, sort of. Uh, I'd like a Super Megatron. You know, let's let's give him some armor and make him a leader and give us a Super Megatron, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Uh, so far, so I am. Where am I? How did this go down so fast? Uh, Warp Cybertron has done new Ultra Magnus Springer. Now RC, uh, they're doing season. Now MWG brings up a fair point. They are doing season three characters. Maybe we will see a Galvatron. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll see a Cyclonus and some Scourge too. I just don't. I'm not feeling it in my bones. Naturally, if anything news or anything comes my way, maybe season three characters wheelie. Shut up. We, are, we don't need another wheelie. Uh, Nick, do you think we will get uh, Earthrise Weaponizer Slammer? I thought uh, that we were going to get Slammer already. Honestly, I thought we were going to get Slammer from Brunt. Um, we didn't. But I feel like maybe in Selects, it would be a good place to get Slammer. I hope that we get him, Sam. Or not Sam, Nick. I, I hope that we get him. Um I could see it. Let's put it that way. I could see it. I'd love to see Roller as a full-sized bot who turns into a Cybertronian. Oh, turns into Optimus' trailer. It'd be an interesting way to do like the weaponizer thing. Have Roller become the trailer. That could work. Sorry, uh, nail polish is a bad option for TF joints, right? I wouldn't use nail polish. Uh, go get yourself the floor polish. That's safe for plastics. Nail polish works fine for a lot of people, but depending on the plastic, Nail polish and glue have been known to eat plastic. I've never used either. I tried using nail polish once. It did not succeed for me, but I've never had it fail with the floor polish. So I would opt for that one first, personally, for what my advice is worth to you guys. Um, my own personal wheel jack is the one from Prime. The one from Prime is a great wheel jack. I had the Beast Hunters version of that. Uh, it was It was good. The only thing that I missed with it was I wish he had a uh, bicep swivel. But even then, like I had him a long time before I realized he didn't, didn't have it. So it's still fantastic. Like a wheel jack by any other name, man. Uh, let's see. I Not so far as I am aware. Um, can't wait for RC talk. Uh, parts former or pretender? Parts former? Parts former, I think. I'm um, looking for Wheeljack now. Like I'm crazy. So am I, buddy. Uh, you're not alone. You are not alone, Brandon. Uh, Sam, by the way, Dennis, uh, have you read the comic sketch? I I saw it there, Sam. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. 
It's been a breakneck week, but it is there. I have seen it, but I have not had a chance to read it yet. When I do, I'll let you know. Um, and if I don't read it, like call me on it again, because it just means I forgot to check my messages. Um, but I do intend to. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's see. Going up here. Um, I'm not saying that is a good thing. My Springer is... Oh, it's a bad copy. Really? Uh, which means it's either a KO or it's just... I don't think it's a KO. Not yet. I don't I don't think you got a KO Springer. Not yet. I don't think he's been KO'd yet. Um, it's too bad that you got a bad copy. What's bad about him, uh, Firebite? Nail polish can work. Um, what? Or a resin that UV... Curable, yeah, yeah, that works too. Uh, maximal 10, the UV resin, another good idea. Uh, I had to, hatred, <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see, going down here. Let's have Gigatron. Uh, if we get Galvatron, it will be in the next series. It will, I, I think, I've heard though that the next series could be Beast Wars. I Stranger things have happened. I don't know. Maybe they'll have a Galvatron Beast Force. Who knows? Um, TF Gaming YT. Hello there to you, too. Uh, let's see. We need a new hot rod. Uh, the TR1 was annoying. What? But the, I like the Titans Return Hot Rod. What we need is a new Rodimus because, as you saw in my countdown of the 10 worst in my collection, that Power of the Primes is hot garbage. I don't understand why people are always... Like, I had so much shade thrown at me for including him on the list. He's trash. His transformation's garbage. That big combined robot mode looks ugly. The shoulders are trash. You gotta take the guy's arms off. They feel like they're gonna break every time. His knees bend back the wrong way. And then when you have the little robot, the shoulders barely go out. It's just... It's just trash man just saying it's trash but you know what speaking of trash there was two that people asked me hey why weren't they on the list one of them one of them is her siege chromia oh what a bad mold this is terrible this is awful she can barely stand up i own it twice because i also got the um nightbird version but like look how flo flippy floppy those legs are like it, she's trash. She's garbage. But the reason she didn't appear on the list is because the conversion is actually very easy and she can get back and forth between modes. Several that are on my list either are painful to try and get back and forth between modes or just plain I never did get them there. At least I got her there. So she definitely deserved an honorable mention. I forgot. But she's, shit, this is not good. If you have the older generations Chromia, I know that's an accurate too, but stick with that. Don't trade it in for this because it's not good. I don't have that, so that's why I got this. Um, but if they ever do another Chromia, I can guarantee you she'll be upgraded because this is not good. Um, the other one, the other one, and this was brought to my attention by Western's Toy Review. He said, guess you don't have the Transformers Prime Arachnid. I do. Uh, she's also hot garbage with her like straight panel arms. I don't know what's going on with her hands with the hole in them. And like, this is as wide as her legs go. And she can't stand up on these stupid dinky little heels. Like she's awful in robot mode, but you know what? She's fantastic in helicopter mode and such an easy conversion. Yes, she's junk, hot garbage. But again, because I can get her between modes, that's why she didn't go on the list. And you might say, yeah, but there were ones on the list that you can get between modes. Indeed. But they're a nuisance and a pain. Ape Face. I love him dearly. I really do. I love, I love him in all of his modes. I detest trying to do the transformation for him. Because on mine, the tolerances aren't great. Um, not as bad as what some people have, but still enough that it's pain. Uh shatter shatter shit there you go she's just garbage pardon the language but she's such garbage what they never should have put it out they should be ashamed of themselves for putting her out um skids i can do the conversion but man he's a pain i love both modes but it's a pain 
Uh, I never could get uh, a Perceptor in, in, in mode. And um, Galvatron, we all know Galvatron. You look at him the wrong way. A piece of crap falls apart. Such trash. Oh, such, such beautiful, beautiful trash. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, hold on. Going down here. Uh, I've been considering getting rid of my prime wheel jack for the earth rise and maybe getting the prime dead end for the former. Ooh, nice idea. Nice idea, Sam. I, I, I'm kind of behind that, buddy. I'm um, really looking forward to fast track. Me too. I'm very excited about fast track. I think it looks awesome. Plus, it could turn into a staff, a staff that others can use, like a staff weapon. I'm down with that. Um, they could do him as a roller, Nick, possibly. I don't know. There's no bother. I, I totally understand. The wheel jack I found was the only one amongst Ironworks and Cliff Jumpers. I feel like Cliff Jumper is going to be the one that's going to shelf form. Like I'm, I have some items uh, that I will pick up for a review, and maybe I'll sell them or something like that. I'm not even doing it with Cliff Jumper. I'm not giving them the satisfaction of saying that it's okay to charge that price for it. I'm not doing it. I if somebody I know has it, I'll review it. But I think I can't. I can't do that with Cliff Jumper. I I the more I see, the more I don't like it. Um, not because it's bad. He's great, but he's not worth his price. I don't on sale, fifty percent discount maybe. Uh, let's see new. Hot Rod Blur Cop. Cop. I could get behind a new cop for sure. I'm okay with Cyclonuses and Scourges. Um, I don't think I don't think all of them are very possible. I think they're unlikely. But if it happens, cool. But I wouldn't say very possible. Um, like a good wreck car. I don't know. Like we just got one, like last year. I don't see them doing wreck, wreck car again. They give us primes and star screams all the time and megatrons all the time, but like the lesser known ones, we don't get them all the time. I don't see them rehashing them that quickly. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, man. I don't know. I'm just saying that I I can't. <sighs> I'm afraid that people are going to hear hopes like that and they're going to take it as oh I heard a rumor that and I don't think it's a rumor that I don't even think it's a strong possibility. So I don't want to add to the hope that we're going to get a lot of those season three casts. We might, we might. And if so, I'll be the first one to say, Hey, I was wrong. And I'm very happy with what we're getting. I just don't believe it's what we're getting. Um, I'm looking for a fix for SS ratchet joints. Why? What's wrong with ratchet joints? My ratchet joints are great. Mm. Uh, I know that they are knockoffs of Optimus sideswipe and hound. They are, they're oversized knockoffs though. Um, but I don't think that there's been a Springer yet. I'm sure it'll come, but I don't think it's happened yet. Uh, uh, bad legs. Yeah, a lot of people said bad legs, fire bite. Uh, let's see. Falls over when you breathe. Um, yeah, those ankles. Some people had some real ankle problems. My ankles are okay, but I did hear a lot of ankle problems. I believe the joints are all hard PVC plastic. For uh, Ratchet? I don't know. I, I don't know if all of his joints are that or not. I don't know. My joints are fine. I pray to God it's Beast Wars. Me too, actually. I would rather have Beast Wars as the next series. Me too, Jason. I'm down for Just to give us some different characters. All Rodimus Prime sucked, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm with you, brother. Absolutely there. I agree, Rodimus, but I want... Uh, okay, wasn't a fan of head uh, the, the Headmaster Hot Rod. I, I didn't like the head. I tried to like cut parts out of him so he didn't have to remove his head and it didn't work. I think he's I think he's cool. I think he's great. I think he's better than the Power of the Primes. Like I think the Titans Return Hot Rod, even though he has the Headmaster gimmick, is head and shoulders better than Power of the Primes Rodimus Prime. Honestly, what I'd really like is just a nice Voyager... Rodimus Prime. That's all. Just a nice lad. That's all. Um, 
see. Do this. And we do this. Uh, hey, Joker. Happy to see you again. I plan on possibly shipping you. Ah, Marty McTime. Possibly coming soon. Uh, let's see. Truck Rodimus is cool. Um, yeah, the truck is cool. The robot sucks. Exactly. The car retooled arachnid, so she has her humanoid spider mode. They would have had to do something, something with it, because it's not good. I did see a uh, custom done with I want to say Titans Return or Combiner Wars Alpha Bravo. And it actually looked and worked really well. You know who, what else I think could be reworked and retooled to give us an excellent arachnid? The Siege Spinister mold. That could also work very good. Just got the Rodimus head for it. Uh, changed out the head. Um, oh, yeah, the Rodimus head in the box. Had, a lot of people done that, too. That was a beautiful head, the way that that was painted. Uh I don't know him, but I'll maybe I'll check it out. I don't usually get much time to watch stuff. I, I do my best, but a lot of times I'm doing something else while I'm watching people in our community, right? I've got the original Generations Chromia. It's not especially great. it got to be better than the Siege because there's not much that's worse than that. I'm not crazy about her turning into a motorcycle, but I appreciate her having designed the IDW counterpart. I don't care about any IDW designs or anything like that. All I want is a nice Chromia ad that changes between modes and can stand up by herself. That's all. That's all. It's all. Nice when she. It's nice when she could stand up by herself. Um. Let's see. G two. Uh. uh what? Sure. Well, what? They could have tweaked Energon Rodimus robot mode. Maybe leave to share mode with G two Hero Optimus. Maybe. Uh, yeah, they are similar. You're right, MWG. Uh, New Earth Rise Kids. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Nick, absolutely. Just picked up Cliff Jumper. <sighs> you can have him. You can have him. I hope you're happy with him, Boss Gunny. I can't do it. He's. N I can't. I can't. Not for $35 taxes in. There's no way he's worth 30 Because that's what he is here. Taxes in, $35. No way is Cliff Jumper worth that. Uh, if you know someone who has Cliff Jumper, you are going to send them a sympathy card? Just, no, I won't. I mean, do what you want. It's just not a message I can get behind. Uh, Cliff Jumper is great. I'm sure he's great, but he's not worth the full asking price. That's the thing. I'm sure he's fantastic. He, everything I've seen says he's fantastic. He should be a third of the price. Simple as that. Um, like you look at him next to even other ones in his wave next to Wheeljack. Next to Hoist, um, I saw him next to uh, Spinister, and like he's he's the size, he's the same height as um, Titans Return Bumblebee. He is a legend, but I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, "Yeah, but he has the paint and the extra parts." Okay, let's say he does. Fine. Here, a legend was twelve ninety nine. I he shouldn't be twelve ninety nine. Let's say he's seventeen ninety nine. $18.99. That's it. He's not $29.99 plus tax. He's just not. Um, I hope you guys are happy with it, but like, I mean, everybody got to make their own choices. I just, I, on principle, I can't do it. There you go. There you go. On principle, I can't do it. Uh, they are doing a Skylinks again. Yeah, we're going to talk about that as well. That's a good point. He does fit with that season three cast. You're all right, MWG. Nemesis Striker. R.I.D. Exbron, Sideburn, Prowl, look at Maximal 10 breaking out. Uh, some names we haven't heard in a long time. Boots Guy Skylinks is my boy. He's a must get for me. I wasn't going to get Skylinks, but man, he is beautiful. Um, supper time, sure, seen a bit. Oh, I just remembered an idea I had a secondary team of Stunticons. Oh, okay. Toxotron, Smash Mart, Seeker. Okay. Uh, don't have a uh, Skylink yet. Uh, already I'm happy you're here, buddy. Um, always happy when Hanger comes in. Any surprises you expect to see from Toyver? Actually, there's a few. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna say surprises 
things I want to see. We're going to get to that very soon, actually. But every time I think I'm at the end of the, bless you. Every time I think I'm at the end of the comments, I like the thing scrolls down. There's like 15 more. Uh, it's just the QC won't let me love him. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that Firebite won't let you love Springer. I, I see that. And it's a shame. What a shame when that happens. Um, uh, Neuro, happy to see you, buddy. I love the Earthrise RC, but hate that backpack with passion. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. How about the G2 Dreadwind as a Voyager and Smoke Jumper as a Deluxe? Maybe. Uh, let's see. I've been watching Cyberverse with my kids, and I agree that Chromia is better. More for Cyberverse. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, let's see. Cliff Jumper should be. Yeah, twelve ninety nine American, fifteen ninety nine. Uh, yes, Neuro. Everybody read Neuro's comment. Cliff Jumper should be twelve ninety nine American, fifteen ninety nine at the more expensive boutiques. Yes, I agree with that one hundred percent. Absolutely, he shouldn't be back to what a Legends was because he is more to him. But he's also not a deluxe. He's in between. Is really what he, he's a scout. That's what he is. He's a scout. Uh, uh, he cost the price of two Legends figures. Here, he cost the price of almost three Legends figures. Uh, there are so many comments. Have you noticed Earthrise is not all about Earth? I have noticed that, Nick, which is funny. Uh, okay. Okay. Whew. Whoa. Okay. So if I'm finally caught up, we're going to run through the news notes. And then we're going to talk about um, some Toy Fair stuff. And we're going to jump into what I got in the bag. So news and notes, very first thing we saw that I, I think in the UK, Rack and Ruin is out for the Cyberverse line. I want them. There you go. I love the alt mode. I love the robot mode. Um, I'm not a Cyberverse guy, but the articulation apparently on him is comparable to any like like Voyager Deluxe in the main line. It apparently he's quite good and I want him. There you go. Uh, so as soon as Rack and Ruin shows up, Boom, I'm down for him. Absolutely. Plus, at that ultra size, he's about the size of a Voyager. I think that makes sense for Rackham Uh, What else do we have here? We saw images of Studio Series Jeep Bumblebee. Don't care. So done with Bumblebee. Don't care. Don't like any of the Studio Series Bumblebee. None of them. I don't like any of the Studio Series Bumblebee molds. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are engineered brilliantly. Some of them are done so well, but I think they're all too small for the engineering in them. It's the uni or it's, it's the universe Galvatron syndrome all over again. Parts fall off of them. It's hard to put certain parts in. Everything squeezes together too tight. I think that the engineering they put into Studio Series Bumblebee really needs to be a Voyager because it's too intricate for a deluxe. Just saying, just my take. Maybe you disagree, and that's cool, too. Roadbuster looks really cool if you're into movie Roadbuster for that weird uh, car without a hood. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But it looks fantastic. Beautiful detail. So much molding. It's gorgeous. Jet Shatter. Um, again, I want her. So just so I can put that turd known as Car Shatter into her car mode and just leave her there. Uh, I know the Jet Shatter has like big heels. I know she has a big backpack. I'm hoping, I'm hoping she's better made and that the articulation is better on her. I'm really, really hoping. We saw Sentinel Prime, Voyager, I think, Sentinel Prime. He looks amazing. He really, really does. Uh, knocking it out of the park with the molds. How functional will he be? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when time comes. Uh, we also found out that we're apparently going to be getting a studio series cliff jumper based on the Bumblebee movie. That could be cool. A Revenge of the Fallen sound wave, top spin, and apparently Blitzwing. All of those evidently confirmed for studio series. So if you've been wanting a studio series cliff jumper or Blitzwing or top spin, I think top spin makes sense, especially after Roadbuster, or Revenge of the Fallen version of Soundwave. Um, looks like that they're going to have you covered up and coming. What else do we have here? Banana Force. They showed off an Ultra Magnus from R.I.D. as armor uh, to make God Magnus. Looks really good if you're into that. Um, again, it's going to be non-transforming. So that's a little unfortunate. Um, first, 
earlier the week we had news come out of the listing on I think Amazon for RC and the Alley Con. When I reported it to you guys, what July I think was initially when I done it. Um, I had a mix of listing information that was provided to me from both, uh, actually from Amazon and Walmart and Toys R Us. So I had it confirmed from a few places back then. I still say that they're going to come out around July. That's what I'm expecting. Um, I said it about this July. I said basically in a year they'll come out. So uh, I'm still expecting the same thing. Uh, we had chocolate chip cookies revealed. A Transformers chocolate chip cookies. If you like chocolate chip cookies, check them out, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we had some more Ferrari. Uh, IDW model kits, their Megatron was shown. I, If they didn't tell me it was Megatron, I wouldn't have known. I don't know if it's accurate to the IDW Megatron or not, because I really don't know what that character looks like. I didn't think the Fry kit looked good for him. Wasn't impressed. I didn't think it looked good for Optimus Primal either. I, again, I wouldn't have known. If somebody didn't tell me, I would not have known that was Optimus Primal. But, but, their Windblade looks amazing. She looks absolutely gorgeous. A lot of detailing in there molded in detail um but i think that it works for her i wish the face had a little more life but maybe it will when we get some paint on it and uh the idw rodimus looks fantastic fantastic as well so a couple of hits there a couple of misses some of that was grayscale so we'll see when the paint goes on maybe it'll totally change my tune especially for uh optimus primal for example what else do we have here? Uh, uh, we saw MP Lyo Convoy in hand. The robot looks great. I think the line looks trash. Not a good line. Not not good. Not good. The robot is beautiful. Get him. Leave him in robot mode. That's that's my best advice. Apparently, we're getting Tiger LCD games back again, and Transformers is going to be one of them. They were, they were trash in the 90s. They were so bad. You'd have this like background that didn't move, and these little black blobs, basically, and you'd play it. I, I mean, I played a few of them, but they, to say they were good, no. Now, that being said, apparently, these are not like remakes of those. It's designed and done in the spirit of those with more modern technology so maybe these ones will actually be much better because technology has changed so much since then so so much uh what else do we have here i think that might be it for that uh we also in our news and notes uh apparently entertainment one is going to which was bought recently by hasbro apparently they're going to be making tv and movie content for G.I. Joe, um, Dungeons and Dragons, Transformers, um, and some more uh, possibilities down the line. I know now why they got it, because Entertainment One has a history of making successes. Uh, I, they're hoping that that creative power is going to breathe success into their many lines. Oh, Action Man. Action Man. That's the other one that was listed there. Action Man. Um we also, as a little wet the whistle preview for Toy Fair, which of course is coming up the weekend, we saw pictures of RC. And she's beautiful. I mean, she's like I said last week that I thought that Generations RC or the Legends one, if you prefer, was beautiful. This is quintessentially RC, and I still stand by that. I did say that you had the um Titans Return one if you wanted the Headmaster gimmick. And I said, I thought that this was better than the Masterpiece, especially the Head Sculpt. And I see the new one. And here's what I would say to you. Skip Masterpiece RC because she's hot trash by the looks. She might function great, but unless you're going to leave her in car mode, don't get her because her robot is not good. The hands with the old lady. Oh, give me a hug. Like... <laughs> They're creepy. Her hands are creepy. Her face is creepy. But then I see these images and I'm like, you know what? The Earthrise RC is infinitely better than the Masterpiece RC. Something seems wrong with that. That shouldn't be the case, but I think it is. If you did not get the Generations, if you kind of don't care if she's a headmaster, so you passed on the Titan's return. I think this is going to be a fantastic one. Is there part that parts forms on her? 
Yes, there is. Apparently it becomes her hoverboard, which is a weird thing. I would be interested to know what her vehicle mode looks like without that piece on it. But you know what? The alt mode looks great. The robot mode is spectacular. The face sculpt is beautiful. Um, I think, is she going to replace her? I don't know yet. I don't know yet because I do love this one. I, I need to see more, but it's real promising. I think, I hope we're going to see more at Toy Fair. Speaking of that, we saw Fast Track, and I already reported and broke to you guys a few weeks ago that we were getting a Selects character and said that, that TFU.info confirmed that that character in the Selects line was the version of Fast Track that came with Black Zarek. So I would venture to say to you that we're going to get Fast Track in the main line. We're going to get the Black Zarek version in the Selects line. Um, it looks really good. Apparently it turns into a staff as well. Love them. Love them top to bottom. Can't wait to add them to Scorponok, who we're going to get to in a moment. Skylinks. I've been saying all along, man, I'm happy with my Voyager Skylinks. Uh, and I have been for a long time. He's even integral to Universal Collision, but I can't pretend that this new one isn't mind-blowing. It is. And it's been confirmed from these images now that we have both the weird bird dinosaur dragon mode thing and the lynx mode plus it can become like a launch bay and the shuttle like come on come on it's amazing um totally in for sky lynx and then the big boy scorponok uh oh uh, and it's confirmed he's a double headmaster i mean you know where is he Like, this, this is my Zarek. And if you've been following Universal Collision, you know Zarek is already a character in there. And Zarek has already sort of, like, insinuated that he will bide his time. Well, now you know that Zarek may have big plans afoot. Big plans in the form of a titan named Scorponok. Uh, can't wait for him. I think the green and the deep purple is gorgeous. I don't know what he's a retool of. The He definitely has ankle tilt, which is great. I, I'm assuming. I've heard he's a retool of Fort Max, but then I've heard he's a part retool of Omega Supreme. Maybe he's a bit of both. I don't know. Um, but all four slam dunks, knocking it right out of the park. Excited for all of them. I think we're going to see all of them at Toy Fair as well at Toy Fair. I think we're going to see... Uh, a lot of things that I've sort of talked about and leaked, we're definitely going to see, I'm going to say one, if not two more of those MicroMaster bases, just like Ironworks. Uh, some of the stuff that I've said apparently doesn't have street dates until going for like October, so I don't know how soon we're going to see it. It'll be interesting to see what comes up. But speaking of Toy Fair, another company has caught my attention, Jazzwares. Now, a lot of you may know Jazzwares as the ones who make the um, Fortnite line, and a lot of you may have heard that they obtained a license to make six-inch G.I. Joes. And we've seen uh, Snake Eyes. He looks beautiful. He really does. Now, I'm not a, into the six-inch line, but I know that a lot of people are, and I think it's going to be a huge hit. They also apparently just announced and will be on display at Toy Fair. They also now have the license to do the characters for AEW All Elite Wrestling. So you're going to get things like uh, John Moxley. You're going to get Cody. You're going to get uh, uh, probably all of the elite. You know, you're going to get uh, Hangman Page. You're going to get um, the the Young Bucks. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega in plastic. Yes, sir. Uh, Darby Allen. Just his face paint alone lends him nicely to being cast in plastic. So, uh, like. Again, it shows how big AEW is getting. It also shows how big Jazzwares is getting. I'd say pay attention to them. I think both Hasbro and Mattel should be on notice because Jazzwares is coming up strong. Speaking of which, I think you're going to see a lot more from Mattel with their Masters of the Universe line. I think this is going to be a huge toy fair. Some years I'm disappointed, but I think for Transformers and so many other lines... When we come back here next week, I think we're going to have a lot to cover, man. I, I hope we're going to have a lot to cover. I'm very excited about it. Very excited about it. And then we get to Cyberverse. 
<laughs> Cyberverse actually has a lot of weird stuff. I already mentioned Rack and Ruin. Let's let's run through a few things here that came up for Cyberverse. First things first, we found out that Season 3 is going to be coming fairly soon, apparently in the spring, and the Autobots and Decepticons are going to be back on Cybertron, and apparently there's going to be some like new enemy group that they need to unite against, like a, a you know a tertiary group. I assume that's where a lot of these new characters are coming from. New characters like Hammerbite, who I think is a hammerhead shark, like um, Thunderhowl, who looks... I think he's like a wolf. He looks really cool. Uh, Iconus, I don't know, or Iconus. I don't know if Icon is named after him or not. Uh, Meteor Fire and, man, Wild Wheel. He is wild. The dude turns into a, a weird little vehicle, but he's a cowboy. Now, to be fair, some of the plastic offerings we've seen have been a little lackluster. Like, I think that the character of Wild Wheel is really cool. I think the renders we've seen for uh, his upcoming release looks really thin and hollow. I hope it's just the renders, but ah, man, give him give him good. I think that he is somebody that a lot of fans are going to catch on to because he's so different. Uh, and his model looks like it has potential to be so cool. So I'm down with that. We found out that there's going to be two new size classes. Battle class, which is going to have lights and sounds and stuff, and it's going to be about 10 inches. It's going to be 49.99 US, and we've seen like the Bumblebee. I think it looks like hot trash. I don't like it. I don't think it's worth no 50 bucks. And apparently, there's going to be a trooper class. It's going to be five and a half inches for 24.99 US. They come with uh, like some sort of energon armor. And uh, like a blaster or a weapon of some sort. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, personally, I feel like they're putting out these other lines, and most people are saying, Why? Uh, you know what? You have those fantastic deluxes that are coming out. Do everyone as those deluxes, do everyone to that quality. That's 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 what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I, I guess time will tell. I know I want the rack and ruin, so I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we've seen like a Cybertronian now, gimmicky crap garbage, uh, Megatron and Starscream, for example. I, there was an Optimus, I think a B2, but it really stood out to me. I don't know what sort of, is Megatron like a flying tank now that he's back on Cybertron? Starscream, I I guess that's supposed to be a Tetrajet. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't dig their alt modes going back to Cybertron. And then we also had news besides for... All of those new characters and the new plastic for them. Besides for the preview for season three, we got we got these unused ideas thanks to a conversation on Twitter. We got these unused ideas. Um, some of them are really weird, like a planet full of Cheetors. I don't I don't think I want to. I don't. Why would you have a planet full of Cheetors? Um, everything on Cybertron can transform, including roads, buildings, houses. I think that's cool, but I, like I don't know. I think it's really cool, but like I don't know how practical that would be for a design team to actually design, uh, you know, for use in the program. Like I feel like it was too complicated to use in the program. Uh, Bumblebee would have ended season one by rebooting the arc and thereby losing his memories again. I'm glad they didn't go with that. They would have just been rehashing the same thing. Uh, apparently, Jazz was supposed to appear in McAdam's oil house playing bass or something. So that got that scene got scrapped, but apparently he was supposed to be in there. And then the last one, I think, is a nice nod to G2. Uh, when at the end of season two, they're in like that multiverse area. One of the captains of one of the ships was supposed to be a blue Grimlock. I think that would have been fantastic. I love, 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 love that idea. Absolutely love it. Um, let me check in with you guys. Um, and then we'll we'll get into the unbagging. I really don't. I'm not getting a new cam. No. Stop saying it. Um, going down here. Pick should definitely, 
but price should definitely be 59.9 maximum i agree nick uh let's see razor beer would people be okay if hasbro threw tr bumblebee in cliff jumpers box with accessories and called it earthrise deluxe bumblebee i bet you they wouldn't uh, the brainwash would be fine with that. Ah, Boots Guardian just said the brainwash would be fine with that. They would because they'd say it's so much better with all of these accessories. He could put stupid skins on his wheels. Whatever. Um, I would be ashamed of Hasbro. I'm ashamed of them every day. If they done that, Titans Return Bumblebee. Titans Re it's funny, Nick, that you say Titans Return Bumblebee sucks. We're going to talk about him in a little bit too. Kind of, sort of. I'm already ashamed myself and peeved. Uh, Jason, Bumblebee is too small for the type of transformation he has. Uh, he should be a small Voyager. Uh, I, I'm assuming that you're talking about the studio series. I totally agree with you, Hunter. Me and Jason agree a lot. I feel like this has happened before. Uh, One ten a.m. here, and I still prefer to watch. Wow, Nick, thank you very much uh, for staying up late with us here, man. Um uh, let's see. Uh, I don't need to get a new camera. Dude, you want me to get a new camera? You can get me a new camera. There you go. I have other things to spend my time and my money on. Uh, they were terrible. Uh, I want a new TF game by the... Yes, I think Cybermanic Geek. Many people would like a new TF game by that same team. I agree with you. Uh, they should, what? They should parts form those backpacks. What backpacks? Which backpacks? I missed that. Uh, I'm very disappointed with the parts forming on the new RC. It's literally the whole back of the car hoverboard with a wing. Well, you know, the cliff jumpers parts forming too. Um, yeah, I'm in for Skylinks. Yeah, Skylinks is beautiful. Everybody agrees with that. Going down here. I love the base. Here's the funny thing. I, I just see, like, Bosco in there is like, love those bases. Uh, love Wild Wheel. Uh, yeah, he's Clint Eastwood. Somebody said, like, third party, do him, call it Eastwood. Boom. Um, hey, Caleb. Um, wow, Caleb, it's been a while since I've seen you, buddy. Um, the bases. Just this past summer, I, like, reviewed all of those G1 Micro Master bases. And I said then, I said, if they were to redo these, man, I'd be in for them all. And lo and behold, what are they doing? I am so happy to be able to get those. Um, I hope they make a deluxe version of Wild Wheel. I agree. I hope they do as well. Uh, the build figure deluxes are amazing. They are. That's what they. That's what the whole line should be. Uh, just tuning in, what's up? Um, you missed me run through a lot of the news. A lot of it was Cyberverse news. Uh, we talked about the Earthrise images, excited for them all, heading into Toy Fair, uh, Jack to see a bunch of stuff there. And not just Transformers, but a bunch of stuff. I think it's going to be a really interesting Toy Fair. A lot of heavy hitters coming out. A third-party Wild Wheel, I'd be down with that. We talked about the new character for Cyberverse 2, uh, Devlin, just, just in case you didn't know. Um, and we're all kind of smitten with the idea of a cowboy being, of course, Wild Wheel. Um, let's see, going down here. Uh, have you seen the pics of Studio Devastator? I have. We talked about that last week. Uh, Dragonfly, uh, he's... Like, he's beautiful for Studio Series Devastator. He's beautiful for Movie Devastator. But was Movie Devastator beautiful? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, all, it's, all, it's all perspective, man. Uh, maybe a rocket base that can... Uh, what? With Countdown in one of the... Yeah, I would like that too, Nick, actually. I would absolutely like that. Okay, so so we have a big... We're to the last thing. We have a bag here. It's a, a big unbagging, unboxing thing. Thing. So we're going to run through first. Earthrise has finally landed here, but it's not only Earthrise that's in here. So very first thing we have is this lad. It is Earthrise Starscream. 
Um, and I will naturally be doing a review of this of this boy as compared to this boy. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like I like this one better, but we'll see. I'm still kind of learning to fiddle things on this the siege, uh, not siege, the Earthrise one. It's definitely basically an upsized classics. But here's the thing: I really, I never had the classics uh, version of. Starscream, so this is sort of new to me. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll talk about this guy, but I've got him, I've got him, and I also have, uh, and I wasn't going to get this, but uh, so many people ask me to do this comparison. I put up an image where I had my custom Siege Optimus with the second chance trailer. Uh, and a picture of the Earthrise Optimus. And I was like, I don't know. And people said, oh, please compare the two of them. So you're going to get your wish. I'm going to compare my custom Siege with the Earthrise. And there's... There, I'm going to tell you now, there's not a bad option here. But there's some weird things with this guy. Some weird things. Wait. Wait. I'm not even going to show it tonight, but wait till you see the two trailers. Just wait. Tune in to the Optimus one. Wait till you see the two trailers. Um, we also have in here. Oh, got to get some of these boxes and stuff out of the way. I'll go, uh, I'll go down here. Uh, also got, excited about this one. Very very excited about this one. Oh yeah, I got this lad. I love this orange. I love this lad. He is fantastic. Now, there's a couple of things that people have had concerns about with this guy, and we're going to talk about it in the review. But boy, oh boy, is this beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely smitten with him. Then... We have, oh, uh, let's get down here. Then we have, oh, bear with me here, guys. Then we have um, these two lads, these Decepticon lads. And we will be taking a look at them. Uh, I feel like there's more paint on these than we got in the Siege ones, actually. I feel like there's a ton of paint here, and I like it. And I also currently have these two. And you can rename this guy Daddy all while you want. He's Big Daddy. And that's who he's going to be, baby. Um, so I got these guys as well. And... Let me, let me keep digging down in here. Oh. And oh, this one I think is going to surprise some people. Let me just check in. Before we finish this up, let me just check in and see what you guys thought of those Earthrise ones. No deluxes yet. I didn't get the Astro Train because I've already reviewed Astro Train here on the channel. He came in a Siege box. I don't need to get him again in an Earthrise box. Didn't need to get him in a siege box, to be honest. Uh, and Smashdown, I'm not going to have to get when he comes out because I, again, have already reviewed him for you guys here already. I love him. If you missed him first time around, get Smashdown. He's fantastic. Uh, no sound barrier. I, the guy turns into a bridge. He turns into a <laughs> turns into a plank. I don't even know if I'm going to bother with that. But no deluxes here yet. Hopefully soon because these kind of showed up out of nowhere. And I'm glad that Toys R Us got them. Rumor has it that Toys R Us got them because apparently they do have a loose association with Target. And since Target put them out, apparently Toys R Us put them out. Um, that's kind of the rumor that I hear. Very happy to hear it. Very happy to hear it. And I'm glad that they came to market with them first. I've said it for years that Toys R Us needs to get this stuff to market first because it's their specialty. I'm glad that they did. Um, so checking in here. 
see what you guys had to say. Um, Studio Series it, uh, Devastator is going to be a monster. I agree. You're saying you're saying Earthrise Starscream beats Siege, but how? Like, what is your measurement for that, Nick? That's what I'd like to know. Remember, remember how at least I measure things. It's not just how it looks. How does it function? How does it transform? What's the longevity going to be like? To me, there's a lot of things to consider. I mean, I like that he's a, a jet too. But to say he's better, it'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting comparison when we get to it. Pay attention when we get to it. It'll, I think it's going to be an interesting comparison. I, and keep in mind that I planned to skip Siege Starscream. I was never going to get him. And when I got him, I was blown away by how good he was. Earthrise is very satisfying. Earthrise Starscream is very satisfying in the looks department. Yes, MWG. Yes. We'll talk about that when I do the review, but yes. What a nice way of putting it. Earthrise Starscream is better than Siege. No, actually, you know what? I'm just going to say, no, he's not. He's not nearly as good as Siege. Functionally speaking, he's not nearly as good. And that makes me sad to say. He doesn't even have... He, he even loses a bunch of points of articulation. He is not, objectively speaking, he is not better than the Siege. Now, which one am I going to keep? I actually don't know yet. I really don't know yet. We'll see how the review pans out. But I can tell you that based on first impressions, he is not at all nearly anywhere close to as good as the Siege Starscream, which is sad, really. Um, and I stand by that by anyone. I defy anyone to say to me why the Earthrise is better. Countdown came with Omega. He did come with Omega. I don't like the Earthrise one's aesthetic. I like his aesthetic. I love the head sculpt. It looks too blocky. That's what Starscream Wife says. Uh, and a bunch of jet kibble. Yep. Just found Earthrise Prime today myself. Uh, I did too. Let's see. Uh, going down here. Uh, I told you you would love him. Told you I would love who? I don't know. I don't know who you think I love. Um, be careful with grapple in case I'm well aware of the grapple issues. Uh, you're gushing over him. Gushing over who? Who am I gushing over? Grapple? Grapple. Yes, I'm gushing over him. He's gorgeous. And yes. Oh, hanger. You were talking about grapple. Yes. He's beautiful. He is beautiful. Uh, need to open grapple, but opened hoist a couple days ago. He's don't have the deluxes yet. And I was not going to get hoist, but, like, he looks so good. I love that green. Earthrise Optimus Prime is a great figure. It is. Jason, I agree. The transformation is really slick. Uh, his transformation is something. It's something. Usually, Jason, you and I are on the same wavelength, but uh, I'm not. I'm not. Mm. I don't know. Like, the Optimus is good. There's no bad Optimus. That's what I'll say. There is no bad Optimus. Whether you like Earthrise or Siege, neither one of them are bad. I'm not even sure how they're going to compare yet when we do the side-by-side, -side, but neither one is bad for different reasons. Neither one is perfect for different reasons. Um, there's a fix for Grapple's pegs. Yeah, it's called sanding them down. That's the fix for Grapple's pegs. Sanding them down or widening the hole a little bit. Not rocket science. That's a pretty easy fix. Uh, the MicroMasters haven't shown up here uh, near me yet, sadly. They're okay. The MicroMasters are okay. Um, like Luck said, like they're all they're all right. They're not standout stars. They're okay. Grapple is my favorite Earthrise figure so far. I now, Jason, I do agree with that. MicroMasters may be on Amazon. Uh, down here, you're making me jealous, Dennis. Hoping to find some tomorrow. Good luck. Dragonfly, I know what it's like. I've seen so many people getting on, like, ah, um, and I still, I still want that wheel jack. So, hopefully, soon. Uh, get what first, Mr. Uh, what get what first? I missed that part. I I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Siege Astro Train never hit retail in my area. I got him from Forbidden Planet. Um, he hit in my area. I got him on sale. I still think overpaid. I, he's, he's good. I just, I don't know. I can't. I'm. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Earthrise is cool, but never better than Siege. I agree with Devlin. 
Uh, I don't think Earthrise Starscream beats Siege. Uh, One Piece is the hipsters. Eh. Look, this coming week, watch the Starscream review. Make your own choices when you actually see everything top to bottom, side to side, just like I will. I haven't even made a final choice yet. I'll do it in the review. Let me know there what you guys think. Target and Tier are uh, whooping Walmart and Amazon on the TF front. They are. Um, and anything that whoops Walmart, I'm happy for. Astro Train and Grapple just showed up right here. Uh, then I was going to skip Grapple. Oh, no, don't, sk don't skip Grapple. Don't skip Grapple. He's so good. Uh, yes, Earthrise Starscream looks great in alt mode, but his robot mode isn't as good as Siege. Yes. Uh, TF Fan Geek, happy you're here. Siege Starstream is gone for me. Rainmakers are enough of that mold for me. Um, maybe, but like I feel like um, Coneheads will be enough of this Earthrise mold for me because it's not that great. Um, I'm, I'm after hurting my hand on Starstream four times, so that can tell you that can tell you what he's like. Although I love his head sculpt, so good. Uh, what have I missed? Everything, TF Fan Geek. Although we're going through some some unboxing stuff now. Um, uh, event Progenitor. What? I have the box set deluxe for all six. And a Gen Astro Train. No way I am buying some Voyagers to replace them. And I already limited on space. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Stingray. I like that name. Earthrise Optimus Studio Series Leader Class Op uh, Earthrise Optimus <laughs> Earthrise Optimus hands down. Uh, am I looking? Uh, I am so looking forward to Scorponok. Me too. Cannot wait for Scorponok. He's my Titan Class Swan Song. I'm out of the Titan Class game after him because it's it's too pricey and takes up too much space. And I got one, two, three, four, five. He's gonna be six. Just saying. Um, Space is premium, man. Solar Storm Grapple is about the... Uh, what? It's about to get jettisoned. No, man. No, don't jettison. Do what I'm doing. Solar Storm Grapple becomes... Boom. Holler. Now we have Holler. Boom. Place for both of them, baby. Um, let's see. Hoist is a very large deluxe. He, he is, he's, no, he's not a large deluxe, Jason. He's a tall deluxe. He's going to have that same amount, that same mass of plastic, but literally everything on him is hollow. The upper legs, the lower legs, the arms, the upper arms, everything on Hoist is hollow. And as TF Fan Geek pointed out, he is a lot of cheap, clear plastic with paint on it. Um, he's tall. He's not big. He's tall. Uh, that's what I would say. Don't be fooled by the height, but that being said, I'm sure I'm going to get hoist. Uh, movie Devastator, hands down, was the worst bay former. Yes, he was, Ty. I agree. TFFG. Um, uh, a what? A while back, Transformer Siege released the trading card game. Oh, okay. You guys are talking about Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was a trading card game, actually, Nick. Uh, the ER RC looks no better than the Generation ones. Generations one, I agree. Um, she's about the same, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure Holler is Grapple. Shh, Master Fire, but we're gonna pretend that they're two different ones. Shh, you're right, but shh, we're gonna pretend that way. There's a justification for having both of them. Who? Me and you were having this conversation last night in bed. About what? Holler and grapple. We were. <laughs> um, I got a United Grapple mint and seal box. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I You could do that too, Master Fire. You could make them shattered glass grapple. Absolutely, you could. Uh, will we get... Hold on, I missed that. Earthrise mud flap? I don't know. Was there a G1 mud flap? I feel like he was a micromaster. I don't know. Maybe Nick. I, I don't know. Um, you could repurpose Sol uh, Solar Storm into Erector as well. Ooh, that's a nice idea. That is a nice idea, Master Fire. Um, 
<laughs> Event progenitor. I thought bed talk was not allowed on the show. But it's about Transformers, it is. Uh, Trent's happy to see you. Seen Earthrise Starscream just couldn't quite pull the trigger. This week, coming up, Trent's, pay attention. I'm going to be doing the full rundown, full comparison of Earthrise and Siege for Prime and Starscream. Uh, imagine a selection painting of Grapple into Mudflap. Why would you use Grapple for Mudflap? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Maybe. Maybe you could do Grapple's Mudflap. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay. Next up. because I want to get out of here. I've been out of here a long time, man. Just just saying. Just, just saying. Um, boom. I... Absolutely wanted this girl. I am very, very happy to have Clobber. Um, you know what? Yeah, she's super de duper de hollow too. Like this is awful, but it's cyberverse. So what do you expect? The articulation is actually really good. I I need a you know what? I've never had lug nut. I need lug nut now. I really feel like I need lug nut. She's great, she is fun, absolute fun, and the last thing that actually came in this week was <laughs> no no it's not the titans return bumblebee the titans return bumblebee is about to go away because he's going to get replaced by the kbb hornets agent for those of you who don't know this is the oversized ko of new age flipper and if anything i think he's a bit better than flipper and flipper's fantastic as you can see he is most definitely legend size i put an autobot symbol on him this will be my bumblebee i don't care what earthrise comes out with i'm not getting it um i'm not getting that um uh, cliff jumper um this i think is infinitely better it's super accurate and guess what this cost me the exact same as what I would have paid for a Legends class offering. So there you go. This is the size of a Legends. It was priced as a Legends. And I guarantee you it has a higher parts count than that Bumblebee. Take that for what you will, man. That is my entire haul right now. There's still some interesting things, though, on the way. Um, even, yeah, I, like that Bumblebee is so, so good. Now I'm just going to check in with you guys here. Um, Cybertron Mudflap got bought. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know Cybertron Mudflap. Uh, again, I guess that's Unicron Trilogy. I don't, I got to be honest. I don't know one character from another in Unicron Trilogy. They all just mesh the same. I don't see anything distinguishing about them. So I'm sorry. I did not realize who you were talking about. Um, Kato, happy you're here, buddy. Finally. Finally, Kato, I finally get to jump into the cool crowd and the Earthrise crowd because they finally started to show up around here. I was so envious of you guys. I'm so happy to be on the train. Um, let's see. Clobber's paint color looks great. Clobber's paint color is great. It's going down. I just saw Lug Nut yesterday. See, I um, I really I, I I really see Lug Nut, and when I do, it's like a hundred and thirty dollars or something. Like no, for Voyager, no. Get real. Um, <laughs> hey, what's your opinion on insert random transformer name or any transformer name? Yeah, that's true. That is absolutely true. That's how you seduced me. Yeah, that, that is exactly how I seduced her. Yes. Um, Got to keep you on your toes. Uh, I think Earthrise Screamer looks better than Siege Starscream. I don't, but a lot of people do. A lot of people agree. Ooh, a lot of people agree with you, Masterfire. Sorry about that. I started to get a cramp in my leg. Um, I love this Bumblebee. See, even Starscream wife loves the Bumblebee. She took him and like transformed him, and she loved him in both modes. Uh, he's intuitive too. Um, Opened up in the Siege TCG. Okay. 
I, I don't, I don't, Nick, your time and stuff, I don't know, buddy, but uh, okay. Hope you get it then. Uh, I feel like something like that might be like in the selects line, maybe. Uh, it is nice, B. Uh, have you seen Planet of the Apes film? I have not. I had no interest in seeing that Cybermetic Geek. I uh, really wanted Generations version of Clobber and Strong Arm. Uh, I could get behind that MWG. I could really get behind that. You're not going to be looking at it from the side. Also, Impactor has hollow legs. Uh, oh, yeah. Impactor does, and I don't care about hollow. I don't care. And actually, I am probably will be looking at it from the side and the back during stop motion. So, I actually do look at that, but I don't care about it. Um, I'm glad Mudflap, Mudflap got some love. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters. Okay. Uh, Snowcap, you're here, buddy. Uh, I can promise you not even Earthrise makes me cool. Aw, oh, Kato. You're cool anyway, buddy. You're cool anyway. Did you see that collection behind you? You're cool anyway. Um, Helter Skelter. Welcome. Yeah, I feel like Amazon is going to push off the orders, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope you get your pre-order filled soon. Uh, no Earthrise around here, but I'm going to try Target. Um, yeah, I'm sure Lugnut is nice. I just don't want to pay $130 for him. Uh, the RC looks perfect. I agree with you, Master Fire. Um, uh, you know what? Don't like Earthrise Screamer's leg kibble. Neither does Starscream Wife. Skylinks, yes. Yeah, the leg kibble. You asked him, why is that on the side of his legs, remember? Yeah. Um, I don't like his hollow toes. Uh, not even the... What? It's the planet of the eight. Even, not even the what? 60s Planet of the Apes? I didn't even know there was one. So, no. No. I don't know. Uh, Earthrise RC looks perfect. Yes. Um, you're cooler than I am. No, TF Fan Geek. You're as cool as any of us, buddy. Um, yeah, well, Starscream Wife thinks she's cool. She's not cool. Do you think we will get an Earthrise Nightbird? No, I don't think we just got a Nightbird this year, like a few months ago. So, no, I don't. Um, I know what you're thinking. Get a Nightbird out of that RC. I don't think we're going to again. But if we do, I'm instantly replacing Nightbird because that Chromium Mold's garbage. Um, I got exactly one Walmart and zero targets for 50 miles. Ooh, Helter Skelter, that's rough. It's rough to go doing checks when that's the case. The green Decepticon recolor of Mudflap was planned. Mm. Uh, I mean, a good night bird. Yeah, maybe Master Fire. Okay, boys, look, this has gone long, and I know I had a ton to cover tonight. We're heading into Toy Fair. It's an exciting time. There's a lot going on. I'm getting out of here because it's getting late. I got things I want to do. <sighs> I appreciate you guys coming in, hanging out with me for the night, I, and Starscream Wife for the night. Uh, I think she's over there eating chips. Yes? Yep. Yeah, she's eating chips. Uh, I'm going to take off. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my night. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and the rest of your weekend. We're going to meet back here next week. We're going to talk about all the reveals from Toy Fair. Yeah? That, that sound like plans? Sound cool? We'll talk about them. Maybe I'll even have some more things picked up. Who knows? You know I appreciate you guys coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, use the donate link. Please hit the subscribe button. That helps me out so very much. Tell your friends to hit the subscribe button, man. Um, don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every day, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together, man, and have another visit, either in the live streams at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way inside the videos.